like to me being in a wheelchair was not an option like and not getting my functional life back like it wasn't an option so i grew up racing motocross the only thing i did was race moto like that's all it was like no prom no football games nothing like full tilt moto made more money my senior year in high school race and moto than my teachers did so just stuck with that and spent a couple years racing moto and then doing some mechanic work to make enough money to get to go to races and do local lower level pro stuff but then i was on the road wrenching for a friend that was racing the outdoor series and was staying at uh, travis pastrana's house that's real big in the moto world. And we ended up in a car accident where we hit a tree at 140 miles an hour or so. I ended up paralyzed with a bunch of broken bones. My shoulders were shattered into a bunch of pieces and crushed my rib cage. Um, and then spent three months or so in ICU. The whole way along the way, all my doctors, neurologists, everybody was, you're never walking again, here's your wheelchair, go home. And it's always kind of funny, like now, like people I meet and I tell them that, even doctors, they're like, oh, you must have been at some backwoods hospital or something. And it's like, I did my ICU stay at John Hopkins. Like, I've seen my neurologist on, on like Discovery Health Network and stuff. They're supposed to be the best neurologist in the world. And every one of them sent me home and said, you're, you're done. Like, here's your wheelchair. Spent couple years in physical therapy. Went from getting a little bit of movement in some toes to moving my feet to my legs a little bit, taking some steps. And I got on a recumbent bike before almost anything, like as soon as I had enough movement in my legs. And so just progressed from the recumbent bike to a spin bike, really just as a rehab type thing, more than anything. Found that a lot of time on the spin bike really helped my recovery like from a neurological standpoint and then I, I reached a point in my recovery where I was walking I was getting around okay but I, I knew I wasn't going back to motocross anymore like I still had too much nerve damage in my feet and legs that they just don't work well enough for me to go back to moto so I picked up a road bike just for something to do and kind of one thing led to another and just riding more like riding with some people and kind of a running joke started with a couple guys about doing an Ironman. And I was like, oh, I could do that. Like, the swim wouldn't be a problem for me. Like, I grew up doing a ton of fishing and diving and stuff, so the swim didn't freak me out. I was like, I could ride that far, and I can't walk at all real well, but, like, I can shuffle my way through for a few hours. So kind of on a bet, I signed up for Ironman Florida and did that, and it was one of the more miserable, painful experiences I've ever had. And I did a couple half Ironmans along the way and a few other races and uh, smashed a couple uh, paracycling, like disabled category um, bike records while doing it and got a few phone calls from some people that uh, said, you know, you, you ought to try out this paracycling thing. And I, I had no idea what it was or anything. Kind of talked my way on to um, a national team camp just before the Beijing Games rode for the week with the national team and got my teeth kicked in every day. At the end of the week, I asked the, the director, I said, well, what do I do from here? And he goes, well, you might be okay. Like, you know, um, you need some time. You need to learn how to become like a bike racer. And he said, go home and become a bike racer. Like, just go learn how to race your bike. And so that's what I did and just went from having never really raced a bike or anything, like had done just a couple triathlons and everything to spent the next 10 years almost just racing everything and anything that I could get my hands on. A lot of para guys just primarily focus on time trials, but I just, I was like, well, I want to be a racer. I don't want to be just a guy that just races the clock. Like I like racing people. So it went from showing up to a camp of not knowing anything of what paracycling was over the next 10 years, went to Road Worlds a couple times, Track Worlds a few times. Barely missed out on the games in 2012. Um, won a World Cup Series one year. That was kind of my big highlight. Um, and winning a couple couple big road races along the way. And uh, a stack of national championships as well. And then even progressed from going, okay, I'm gonna become a bike racer. I started piecing my own program together and 
kind of, at least in the U.S., was like the first rider to basically put their own team together, if you will. Like, had a couple other para athletes that rode with me, and it was always cool because I, I brought in um, some companies from, from the motocross world that I was still friends with, so it was always fun to have a cycling kit but have, like, a motocross logo on it and stuff like that. It kind of brought a different dynamic to the sport because there's, there's a lot of crossover between the two. Um, so it was always fun to do that. Thank you.